Good evening and welcome to Sports Friday. I am your host, Heidi Ogoe, and joining me on set are my analysts, Onyo Takwana and Sadia, who break down each and everything that has been happening in the world of sports this week. Now, on my far hand, I have uh, Edgar Wabwire, who is uh, joining us today to help us analyze everything that has been happening in the sports world. Uh, in the center, we have Shafi Zele. Shafi Zele. And then on my... What, <laughs> We have Bran Mushiri, who will also be joining us throughout our local Uendutum. We tag our residential analyst. <laughs> now, to begin with, we begin with the story of uh, Doha, where Team Kenya dominated in Doha as the athletes put up a fight. Now, curtains came down on the IAAF Athletics Champions on Sunday in Doha, with Kenya finishing second behind the United States of America. It was a repeat of the 2017 edition in London, where Kenya emerged runners-up as USA won the overall title. Kenya also picked 11 medals in Doha, with five being gold, two silvers, four bronze. Only Ellen Obiri, 5,000 meters, and Conselas Kipruto, 3,000 meters steeple chase defenders, defended their titles. Faith Chepnietich, 15,000 meters champion in London, settled for silver, while 2017 world marathon champion Jeffrey Curry finished 14. Now, guys, you must have you must have been following the Doha Championships, you know? yeah. Now, it's it's the second time Kenya is finishing second. Uh, this is something that Siko Shua Kamatuna Fakwa proud of. I'm uh, a little bit worried, uh, but it, it does send a statement that we are consistent, at least to some extent, does it? Yes, I think I need to take this faster. Please uh, do. Uh, yes, it does send a statement that we uh, we have been consistent. I mean, it's something that we've been doing year yeah. in, year out at the IAAF World Championships, but also came up a whole conversation about should we kind of try to diversify the kind of sports that we do and the kind of people that we take to the international space? Look, the kind of what we offer now is only athletics. And uh, that is where the USA now comes and catches up with us. Because they have so many, they have at least someone in every single sport. We have none. It gets to a point where we have none. Look at short puts, long puts long jump nothing no one there was a whole conversation about should we now try and invest in bringing in more players in these different events now that that would be a very interesting thing and by there i actually do agree with you but the question would be kama sasa hii athletics peke yake ndio sio struggle kupeleka watu tunakogana shida za finance now and this is just an athletics team that we are talking about as in watu wa kukimbia mostly na labda watu javelin na kurusha kina yego Da, do we have enough to actually uh, to, to actually accommodate uh, other structures kwanini, as in other rooms uh, other other spots if it ukin nikukuliza shafi nam tukianza kuzungumzia kuhusu hili swali ambalo papa mushiri amesema ni kwamba ile America USA ambao walimaliza nafasi ya kwanza ni kwamba USA wako vizuri kwa sababu zile state mingi kwamba zile ni states si kama Kenya tu Ijo Kenya ni nchi ndogo alafu pia wale wale wakimbiaji ama wale ambao huwa na wana riadha huwa sana sana wanajiingiza katika riadha peke yake hapa Kenya tunajulikana kwa riadha peke yake riadha na soka kidogo sana sana riadha lakini hizi long put short put atuko vizuri lakini nitasema nini pale Beijing mm. tulimaliza nafasi ya pili sio mm. alafu ya kwanza ama ya pili hata Landa tulimaliza nafasi ya pili nafasi ya pili na kwamba sisi katika riadha tunaheshimika kama Kenya lakini kwa kuna hizi vitu kadhaa kadhaa kama short put long put hatu ya kwa sababu unaona United States wako na vitu nyingi wako na swimming wako mm. na sijui yani like it's like wana participate in all events so at least wako guaranteed to actually and, and pia china na, na uk wamekuwa uh, the same thing wao pia wana participate consistent like, consistent unaona so it's like ni sisi ndio tunafatu up our game ndio at least to to, to dominate kiasi au au vp edgar unaona kama kuna kitu kusema kuhusu story na kikweli mimi inanivunja sana roho kwamba <laughs> kila mahali kila mara tunapoenda katika hapa mashina tunamaliza katika nambari ya pili mwisho tulimaliza nambari ya kwanza ilikuwa mwaka 2015 uh -huh. ndipo tulimaliza nafasi ya kwanza wajua kwa tunamaliza katika nambari ya pili sisi tunapeleka riadha peke yake na kando na kupeleka riadha wakati mwingine tunapeleka majina kwa mfano kwa mfano katika urushaji wa mkuki tulipeleka tu jina la Julius Yego kwa sababu gani kwa sababu alikuwa amefanya kweli hapo awali yeah. si ati tukikuja katika humu nchini Kenya hatuna talanta za short put na vitu kama vile unapoenda kule mashinani hata eh, zile michezo za vio vio vya upili wait sisi vitu zinakoga na qualifiers uh -huh. naam lakini oh, oh walimpitisha tu 
Wajua kuna kuna wakati mwingine majina majina tu majina yatabaki kuwa majina. Lakini kando na hilo kuna hii michezo kama short put na vitu kama vile unapoenda katika shule za upili kuna kuna watu wanarusha mikuki huku nje na kuna watu wanarusha sijui ni mawe ama ni vitu gani but <laughs> no. all the best to team Kenya as they come back to Kenya and personally tuna, tuna we hope that they actually can uh, can can do better next time as Edi, they kabla hujamalizia yeah. kutilia mkazo na chusema eh, papa Edgar tilia mkazo eh, kwamba yule hapa Kenya yeah. hajatilia mkazo hizi michezo mingine tumetilia mkazo riadha ambayo ni mbio yeah. lakini short put long put lakini na, nasikia vizuri kwamba kuna yule mkimbiaji mmoja alimaza nafasi ya sita pale yeah. Doha alikuwa eh, anakimbia 400 meters yeah. alimaza nafasi ya sita sio yeah kama tumeanza kujiingiza kwa hizo short races inamaanisha kwamba pole pole tutajiingiza kwa hizi michezo mingine anavyosema yule papa eh, eh, Yego Julius Yego ni mzuri lakini kidogo wanasema kwamba alipata yellow cards mingi tatu ndaka tolewa nje okay Na, yeah. so uh, personally mimi nafeel uh, Kenya ni zakadu better kwanza kwa story tumeingia kwa short races that's, that's actually better but still there there still uh, needs more needs to be done uh, moving on to the next story all all is set as kipchoge waits awaits uh, saturday's challenge yeah 1.59 which is something that has been trending all over kenya and actually to be honest uh, throughout the world even jana nini europe kichezo nasikia watu wa austria wako na shughulika sana na game yao walikuwa na pay attention sana kwa aino's challenge anyway kenya world marathon record holder eliud kipchoge will be hoping all goes his way for saturday's race against time first uh, run was in athens 1986 1996 in just under three hours the marathon has become a classic challenge for thousands of runners around the world 41 athletes will act as pace setters for world marathon record holder as he attempts to become the first human being to run the marathon under two hours Aineus 159 challenge in Vienna Austria the 41 runners 41 runners will play a crucial role pacing Kipchoge to the historic time as planned by the organizers now this is a little bit interesting uh, this is a little bit interesting considering the fact that um yenye kama kuna siku kama kuna wiki Kenya me trend nini tukitoa tu ile story ya ile gari ile sink yenye mpatikana leo thank god for that I think this has been the, the second most biggest story. Na hii hata ime trend, hii ime trend in places that other court tunaweza kufikira tunaweza trend. But it's, it's really interesting because uh, we, we, it, it shows something. Tumeacha kushindana na watu sasa tunashindana na nature. Well, <laughs> yes, but uh, it's all about Eliud. I mean, yeah, it's for someone who has interacted with Eliud initially, really humble guy, really hard working guy, really disciplined guy. And it's a, a couple of things that I keep telling you here. You need to be you can be talented but with no discipline and hard work. True. You hakuna mali utaenda. And you cannot unaweza kosa hiyo talent but with hard work and discipline you can actually do a great job. Now also look at what I've been telling you over and over again. When we have the numbers, corporates come in. Look at what Safaricom did. Imagine you changing the entire yeah, logo yeah, for that. Mpesa because of what you do. Look at what YouTube and Google Kenya have come in and done. For tomorrow from 7 to 6 p.m. from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Kenya is trending. You will be able to live stream that race by Elliot for free. You see that's what you do when you bring corporates when you bring numbers to the game. Well, corporates he, get interested. Well, um uh, uh it's 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 been uh, it's been uh, mentioned that uh, the vice president may be uh was traveling to Vienna to actually uh party uh, yes. compartir the support that he actually needs. Do you really think, uh, do you think that this is this is enough for him? Na mwajua mimi kando na hiyo rais naibu wa rais kwenda kule kumpiga kampani na vitu kama vile. Mimi kitu kinachonifurahisha na hii Aineos Nam ni Eliud Kipchoge ametuleta pamoja kama wa Kenya. Hakuna wakati ambapo wa Kenya wamekuwa pamoja kama wakati huu. Wajua <laughs> ina ina, ina, ina fresh sana na tutia motisha. Na Nam tukirejelea ili swala la naibu wa rais kwenda kule itam, itampatia motisha sana. Ata, atajua lazima hii recording kaweze kuivunja. Uh, he will make impossible things be possible. Wasema amesema papa Eli nani aitwaje? Uh, Eliud Kipchoge mm. kwamba no human is limited. True. Oh, you 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 the main focus you the tagline kwa story yote. No human is limited. Na maanisha nini kwamba yule jamaa amejipanga, amefanya mazoezi, ako na discipline alivyosema papa mshiri kwamba yule uh, Eliud Eli, Eli, ako na discipline, amefanya mazoezi ya kutosha. Alafu ndio maana hawa safari kama wamejiingiza ndani alafu napata eh, zile vitu vingi vya vya usemaje 
zile za maduka ama uzaji sana sana zimejiingiza pale kwa mfano safari kwa mmesema kwamba kuanzia kesho kuanzia kuanzia leo kwa, usiku wa leo kuanzia saa saba usiku unaweza kuwa unazapata bundles eh, free youtube ambapo utakuna stream sana pale alafu elid mwenyewe vile vile amewapatia Kenya motisha sio rahisi binadamu kwenda kupishana na wakati well all the best to elid as he takes on the challenge tomorrow against time and we'll all in Kenya be giving him the support that he needs to tap nunua ma bundles na tutawasha ma wifi kesho ni elid 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 and let it trend let it go wide let it go viral yeah. as we hope to support to give him the best support ever now we'll be taking a short break but when we come back we'll be check we'll be looking at why Kenya police has to withdraw for the second time out of the African Championships competition all this and so much more as we get back now from us to you is